In this video, we will show you how you can understand hidden spatial patterns and relationships in your data using spatial statistics tools in ArcGIS for Desktop. Here we're looking at childhood obesity data at the individual school level for Los Angeles County. Some of these schools have more than 50% obese fifth graders. We are going to use spatial statistics tools to run a hotspot analysis which will show us where we have statistically significant clusters of childhood obesity. This analysis will help us understand where the problem is and how we can focus our resources on those areas that need it most. We can see that there is definitely a spatial pattern to this problem. There is a cluster in the middle of our map in the south central Los Angeles area. However, in the northeast and the northwest areas like San Gabriel and Beverly Hills, childhood obesity is not as severe of a problem. What could account for these differences? Let's look at the places to get healthy foods like fresh fruits and vegetables. We have the supermarkets data here. Looks like supermarkets are pretty much everywhere. However, to better understand the distribution of supermarket locations, let's use another tool to create a density surface which will show us where we have higher and lower concentrations of supermarkets in the area. Immediately, we can see that there's a very low concentration of supermarkets in the major hotspot area which really represents a gap in the accessibility to healthy food and could be a potentially related factor in childhood obesity rates. This gap wasn't noticeable without analyzing the data spatially and statistically. So now that we understand where the problem is, we can start to think about the potential solutions to this problem. Here, we have used other tools in ArcGIS for Desktop, like location allocation, to determine which existing convenience stores or supermarkets can be incentivized and subsidized for sale of fresh produce, fruits, and vegetables. We could propose to direct some federal funding to facilitate incentives and subsidies to the areas that need it most so that we can start to close the gap in the accessibility of healthy food. So we're able to use spatial analysis to understand the significant problem of childhood obesity, its potential cause, and the potential solutions that can start to really change the future for these children.